Hello folks, today is March 14th, 2011, Airplane 75 here once again, and today I have a little review and an unboxing mixed with a few other things that I got to do this weekend. I don't know if you saw in my other video, I uh, Saturday I met Sean Casey and the whole Tim, uh, Team Tiv team, and they were the nicest people in the world, especially uh, Marcus, the Tiv driver, was one of the nicest guys I've ever met. So I wanted to show you a couple things that I got there. This was a poster they were giving out, and I got it signed. Uh, I'll just show you. There's from Marcus, the driver. Um, Josh Warman was there, and that's from Sean Casey right there. Just so if you don't believe me, I was there. Um, another thing I'd like to show you is got my Skywarn license certificate. So now I'm an official Sky One. Now the main reason I'm having this is I have a little unboxing for you of a new weather instrument. I got this from InSpeed.com. Uh, they have some cool stuff, but this is an anemometer that I got. So I have it open here because I already opened it, but I still want to do an unboxing just so I know what I'm talking about. This is exactly how it came with just some newspaper. So, get off the newspaper, there it is. That's pretty much it. That's... So, first, let's take out the little stuff. You have the screen where you can see everything. Set that aside. You have the actual Vortex in-speed anemometer. And it spins really smooth, like there's no resistance at all. Now I'll go over this stuff more in a little bit. I just want to show you what else came in the box besides newspaper and then instructions. So first of all, let's let me go through the instruction booklet. Um, oh, you do have Velcro here, so you can stick it on your car. And oops, I dropped it. You do have Velcro here, so you can stick it on your car, and then it stops rolling around. I don't think I'm going to use it because. I move it back and forth between me and my partner, Storm Chaser, so it's just the basic instructions on how to use it. It does a ton of things like um, date and time, uh, ride time, average speed, max speed, stopwatch, and also you could change it from miles per hour to kill of miles, whatever. I don't know, I'm in a crazy mood right now. So, let's take a look at the anemometer here. As you see, we have the top here spins. Um, the only thing I wish this had was a wind vane. You can get one, but it's only visual. Like I would, I would like to see them make one where on the little screen it would tell you uh, direction. But whatever, this is still good. You've got a red protective covering, and this thing's solid. Like uh, this will stand up for a high winds. And these magnets, I've tried this on my car, are extremely powerful. These will stick. But as you can see, there's no rubber padding on it. So what I did is I just got a little bit of tissue paper, this heavier tissue paper, and I put this on my car like this so it doesn't scratch it. And I just keep that in the box ready for that. And it comes with a ton of cord. So you could run this through five cars or whatever. You got this little red grippy thing, and it's it's just nice, good quality. All there's nothing loose, and this just spins so smoothly. So I'm gonna leave that there. Now to hook this up to this, all you gotta do is plug it in. And then you have this screen here. Right now it's on standby. And then you just turn it on like that, and see so you have everything here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset it. Well, actually, I'll show you everything else through it. Um, you, you've got a button on the top, button on the top, um, bottom, and you have Velcro here. So, uh, we can go through, see there's distance and day and stuff, run time, average speed, max speed, stopwatch, and tons of other cool little knickknacks. But, um, so say you're driving around and it's moving, see it shows 10 miles an hour. And you want to reset everything. You hold it once, and it'll reset that. And then keep holding it, and it'll reset everything. 
So everything's reset. Now, as you can see, whoosh, it works. This is just one of the many new tools that I'm getting in the mail. Um, for like, I'm gonna get a barometer, um, so I can tell barometric pressure and all sorts of good stuff. And then as you disconnect this, this just turns off in 30, 30 seconds, I think. So, there you have it, folks. You have the Vortex InSpeed uh, anemometer from InSpeed.com. Um, I like this. This was worth it. It came to $99 for this, which seems a little pricey for this, but I think it was completely worth it how solid this thing is. And if you're out there storm chasing like I will be uh, really starting this summer, this is an ins essential so you could report to the National Weather Service with gusts over 54 miles an hour. So, thanks again for watching, everybody. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.